Hi, I'm the Swedish Geek Ball and welcome back. Uh, I am actually going to be doing a new game today and then later I'm going to be continuing The Witcher 3. This is Shantae's Risky Revenge. This is um, another Patreon request. So I'm excited to try this even though I really suck at platformers and this is totally a platformer, but we're gonna see how this goes. Um, it's definitely something that's kind of almost topical to play because there is a new Shantae's game. I think it's Shantae's Seven Sisters that has come out. Um, but this is one of the older ones. And uh, we will see how this goes. So file A, new. <laughs> Let me move my mouse out of the way. All right. Ooh, ooh. Oh, look at this pixelated wonderfulness. Woo, life is a half genie, it's hard work. Ever since I ran risky boots out of town, every monster in sequin land wants a battle. Well, holding back, well, won't. Well, holding back now won't help any. Gonna have to hair him till it hurts. That, that's a pun terrible pun. Oh my god. I love this game. Alright, so... Oh! She wasn't lying. Pairing them. Oh! Okay. Do I have a jump? Oh, I do have a jump. This is just to, to teach me stuff. Yeah, I still got the moves. Yay! I got the boobs. All right, so we are at the lighthouse. I'm actually kind of impressed. There's not actually jiggle things that's going on, and I have. Oh wait, never mind. I lied. She just literally jiggled her own boobs when I said something. Wow. All right. So I will say that these controllers, this controller is just really sensitive because I've got the same issues with um, the Witcher. Um, it's. It's an Xbox controller, but it works with Windows. We actually have a Steam controller, but it doesn't actually work with a lot of stuff. So that was kind of a waste of money. But um, we researched, and by we, I mean my husband, because he was trying to play a game with a controller, and discovered that Windows, uh, because Windows 10 now has that Xbox stuff, that an Xbox controller works well. But it's really sensitive, and I keep going forward but if you go forward just slightly down, you see, she just goes right down. All right, I'm just gonna, okay, so I'm not really sure what Y is doing aside from giving her an interesting pose. Um, a is jump and X is hitting them with their hair. So I think I only have, ooh, I can also use the D pad. I wonder if that's going to be a smarter thing for me so that I can have more control. It's harder on my hand though. Um, let's try this first. Okay, I have to remember jump is a, yeah, so jump. Seagulls! Okay, do I get to fight you or do I talk to you? Hi, Ashante. I'm off to see your uncle's show. Want to go with? Oh, he sounds really smarmy. Sorry. Huh? The Relic Hunter Expo is today? Yeah. Sky and Wrench flew in this morning just to see it. Oh my gosh, Sky's egg. I left it sunning in the bay. Don't move a muscle. Do I go past you or do I go back this way? Oh. Well, 
I'm so glad that she doesn't die with immediate contact to water because considering what kind of game this is, usually they die with immediate contact to water. So sunning in the bay, I'm guessing. Yeah, that was a, I'm sure there's like a way to double jump. I don't know it yet. Oh God, I'm so glad she doesn't die from going in the water right now. Because <laughs> I'm not making those jumps. You got the egg. All right. Oh, there is a thing up there. I want it. I want it. I can't get it, can I? Because I need to learn the double jump. There's got to be a double jump. That would be the only way you could get up there. I'm pressing every button. Okay. Come on, you could use your hair to get up there, come on. Oh, I wanna get that thing. All right, let's remember at the lighthouse there's a thing. Hopefully I will learn a double jump. Oh gosh. The other problem is, is again, I'm trying to use the same buttons that I am usually using on Animal Crossing and none of these other games have that control screen because Animal Crossing is a Nintendo product and everything else is from Steam and I'm using an Xbox controller. So when you see me go forward and forget to jump, it's because the A and B button are reversed on this in comparison to my Switch. And so B is like what I'm... Oh, oh my God, how am I supposed to handle her readjusting her boobs? <laughs> She's readjusting her boobs. Oh, I wanna go inside the lighthouse. Okay, so I've got the egg. We'll get better at this, I swear. All right. Got the egg, let's go. It smells like grandma. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm sure that's normal. You're the worst egg sitter ever. Don't blame me when Sky finds out. <laughs> okay. Scuttle Town, and suddenly I have this. Are you a. Are you a. I guess you're not a. Can I talk to. All these boats. All these boats coming in. Scuttle Town ain't got room to dock them all. I, I don't have a low voice. <laughs> oh boy! Today's the Relic Hunter Expo! Fussy old explorers always find the weirdest stuff from the old world. I always pre-register. That's how you get the best prices. You do it at the con, and then next year you're ready to go. Except this year, because they're all canceled. Oh, that's really, I'm actually kind of crying. <laughs> all right, what about you, weirdo? The relic hunters are known worldwide for their unusual discoveries. I hope to see something truly amazing today. Actually, he's wearing a thing, so maybe I should be talking like this. All right, so. Oh boy, I accidentally started his thing again, and I can't cancel out of it. I'll just really, really, oh. Okay. Octopus. Need to be some squid, I want some, uh. Hello, you definitely have jiggle physics. Hi. Hey, Shantae, what's it gonna take to get you back on stage? Quit being so shy. <laughs> Apparently, I don't know. Uh, okay. Can I jump on any of this stuff? Because there's definitely a woman up. Oh, wait, I can go inside. And grasping the white crystal firmly in hand, I ducked several seconds at what appeared to be a common cliff face until blah, blah, blah. He must be the uncle. Psst, you're late. It's your sworn duty to protect this town against the criminal element. 
Aren't you a grump? I'm guessing training week was a bust. Total disaster. My warbird hatchlings literally flew the coop. All besides wrench here. Speaking of which, do you have my egg? <laughs> I have a choice of no and yes. <laughs> I wanna say no, just a lie, but I'll say yes. There's my boy. Gave the egg. So, did you take good care of him? I spoiled him rotten. You better have. Oops, it's time. And with my empty bowels replaced, what? <laughs> and with my empty bowels replacing the treasure, I was able to outwit the pressure trap and make my escape. He shat. <laughs> That's something that I think should be in the next, um, that really needs to be in the next uh, uh, Harrison Ford Indiana Jones movie. You know, he's old enough that uh, he can probably do that, you know, if their old people are really into making sure that they use the bathroom on time. Oh my lord, this is gonna be an interesting experience. <sighs> Citizens of Scuttletown, may I present this year's object of mystery. For a moment I worried it was just gonna say object. That's funny. <laughs> Crowd, ooh, murmur, murmur, murmur. Incredible man, huge bells, <laughs> such bravery. <laughs> As usual, we'll kick off the festivities by cracking open a fossilized treasure and offer the contents up for auction. This year's mystery object appears to be encased in solid stone, but feels quite hollow. Shall I smash it open? Yay, do it! <laughs> then let the festival begin! It's a genie lamp. Whoever could have expected that? Ooh. What is that? You're a half genie. You should know a genie lamp. Oh my God, you are an airhead. It looks like an oil lamp. Err, uh, ladies and gentlemen, my mistake. I seem to have uh, brought the wrong item. Uh, that is. It's okay, uncle, show us. Show us, yay! No, I mean, no, it's not important. Let us all move on to the next event. Please turn your attention to. Huh? Ooh, ooh, pirates. Oh, wow, look at the skull fruit. Ho, 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 no need for alarm. I'm just dropping by for this. And I hope I can keep all my voices straight. Risky boots. In the flesh, and boy, there's a lot of it. Your spelunking uncle is always drudging up new collectibles, but this one, well, this takes the cake, doesn't it? It's just a worthless lamp. Put it back before there's trouble. You have no idea the trouble that's in store. Heave ho, man. Hoist my booty through the roof and put your backs into Fortune most foul. That lap is extremely dangerous. Sky Bolo, one of you catch her before she reaches the dock. No way, I can handle this. Sure I can. No sign of Frisky Boots or her pirate ship. If I've lost her, I'll never live it down. 
Yo ho, genie girl looking for me. Risky, I'll give you one last chance to hand over that lamp. If not, things are gonna get ugly, just like you. Foo, foo, foo. They're gonna get ugly, all right. Let's see how you handle my brand new steam-powered oceanic tinker tub. I ran out of breath. Oh my God, it walks. Oh my God, this is some Howl's Moving Castle shit. Oh, lock and load, men. It's time for Risky's Revenge, so let's attack aggressively. Ho, ho, ho. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have to fight this thing. Oh my god. Ah! Remember which one's the jump button? I forgot which one's the jump button. I don't even know where the attack, like, oh, oh, oh. Okay, so that's where the attack window is. Whoa! What the hell? Oh, oh. This is that. And attack window is right there. Can I get to it? I, got, I did better coming from this end, but he's trampling me. Maybe if I get like really good at this, I can try Cuphead. Cause it's a really cool game. I just feel like I would suck really hard at it. There's a lot of bullet time, kind of crazy, like bullet hell stuff. Where is the, okay, so. Oh, I did it. Not bad. You've learned a thing or two since our last duel, but no matter. With this lamp, I finally got the means to crush Sequin Land. Sequin Land? Once and for all. Till then, play with this. Ah! Hey! <laughs> Dicks. Oh my god. I have to drink a lot of tea during this. There's a lot of voiceovers. Shantae, wake up! Are you all right? Oh. Oh. oh, she got away! Remain still. Leave the situation to Sky and Bolo. But... Uh. Well, this is a fine how-do-you-do. Lying down on the job while that pirate runs pell-mell all over my town. Ever since this pirate thing started, Scuttletown's been going to the dogs. Mayor Scuttlebutt, please understand she's doing everything possible. Hooey with half genies. We're a whole town. We need complete protection. Pack up your things and clear out. You're fired. What? You can't mean it. I do. And that's my final word on the matter. Now get going. I'm a busy man. Well, he was in rare form. But he'll change his mind once I get that lamp back. No, I forbid you to go. Now you're acting weirder than the mayor. What is it about this lamp that's got you so worked up? I, I can't tell you. What? Why not? I promised your mother never to speak of it. That lamp caused a lot of suffering back in her day. Trust me, it's trouble. And better left forgotten. You can at least tell me why Risky would steal it. Is it dangerous? No, not anymore. The genies banished its magic long ago. They divided its power into three magic seals and hid them away forever. 
Even if the dark power was somehow restored, few remember how to use it. And I intend to carry that secret to the grave. But uncle, Risky must know more than you think. Otherwise, she wouldn't have stolen it in the first place. Oh, it's true. The potential for evil is too great. We have no choice. We must find all three magic seals before Risky Boots does. It will be difficult and very dangerous. And afterwards, we must never speak of this again. Do you think you are up to this challenge? If it means saving our town from evil, you bet! I'll find those three magic seals and put an end to Risky's evil schemes once and for all. Now where do I go? <laughs> oh my god! Did you hear the sound effect? Cause it's pretty high. I <laughs> Why does she squeak when she crawls? Okay, so... Where do I go? Oh no, can I talk to you guys? I got kicked out of my old town and traveled here to start a new life. I really hope this town can accept me for me. Good luck with that. Have you seen the old coot in this town? He's the save guy. See him if you want to record your progress. See those arrow things on the ground? Folks call them jump pads. Jump off of one to launch forward or back. They'll take you straight to the town gate. The arrow things? Oh. Make sure you stop by the shop for some magic before you go. I suggest the Storm Puff. It's the most powerful weapon to start with even if it is tricky to use. So, stop. Okay, so. It's the same dude. Have you seen the other fishermen in this town? Talk about f <laughs> It's the same dude. They're twins. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Lord, no smash me! So I can't go past them. What happens when I go in here? Is this the... This has got to be the store now. Maybe. All right. Try visiting your pal, Rotty Top. You can find her zombie wagon by heading east from the town gate. It's a straight shot through the forest and through the field and forest. Okay, so I need to find the shop. It's recommending the shop. Which I have no idea where that I mean I've got the jump pad. But none of these are like shop things. Nope, that's, that's that dude. I guess let's go to the town gate. Um, and see what's there. Hopefully I'll be able to come back. Because I'm supposed to look for an old guy who's a save. Oh. Hi. Hi. No, I want to talk to you. I'm famous for my magic gem. It spreads like a dream and is delicious like a blossom of heaven. Too bad monsters hijacked my latest match. If you find a magic gem, don't just give it away. Trade it for something valuable. You've been skipping your belly dancing classes. No wonder you can't remember any transformation dances. If you're feeling rusty, hold the dance button to do a practice dance. What's the dance button? 
a pair. Oh, oh, so she wasn't just doing, oh. Forgive me, I gotta scratch this. All right, a lot of talking in this. My voice is gonna go. <laughs> All right, I wanna talk to you. When you're not sure what to do next, come talk to me, Bolo, or Uncle Mimic. You can find all three of us here in Scuttletown. From now on, don't be afraid to ask for help. Fantastic. A little girl. I love to run. I could always walk, but then I'd have to hold down my attack button all the time. So, in order to walk, she has to... Oh! Well, there's gotta be a reason for that. Oh, you are weird looking. Would you like to save a record of your journey? Wait, no, old dude, old dude. Would you like to save a record of your journey? Yes. Save complete. All right, so that's what the old dude looks like. I, I wasn't expecting that, but I am not expecting a lot of the stuff in this game, so. Oh, please stop crawling when I need you. <sighs> okay. Don't leave town without buying magic from this shop. I'd start with fireball magic if I were you. It's perfect for long range attacks and will ignite certain enemies. Oh, and this dude wants to start with a pike ball. It's the perfect orbital defense weapon. So everybody's telling me everything from... What's this person gonna tell me? You've got to accessorize. Get some silky cream for that hair. Gives your hair full body and repair split ends. L'Oreal, because you're worth it. <laughs> there are so many boobs in this game. It's so hilarious. It's so pixelated, but it's so boobtastic too. Oh. oh. Welcome to the import room. We used to carry all kinds of treats from lands beyond, but since these pirates showed up, our shipments have stopped completely. If only I could do something about it. So that suggests that during the game, I'm going to manage to get her imports and that's probably gonna give me better items. Oh, I need honey for the... All right. So this is the store. <laughs> you don't look shady at all. Welcome to the item shop. Today's price. Magic potion for restoring health. I have 35. And zero of the other one, magic file. Pike ball is 50. Fireball is 30. Sequin land map is 20. Silky cream is 200. Magic fill is 150. Attract magic. Storm puff. So I can. Buy something to restore health once. Uh, and a magic vial that refills my magic meter once. Or I could spend a buttload of money on Fireball. Try it. 
now I have five. So, so how do I um, get out of here? Not one. I don't really know how to use fireball. Oh! Oh my god, the trigger buttons do stuff. She spins and... Ooh, I did not realize. Well, actually, the left trigger button does stuff. The right trigger button... Still no double jump. And still no clue how I use a fireball. Maybe I can only use fireball outside of town. Um, hey. I can get up here. Okay, cool. Don't leave town without the sequin land map. Shows all the save rooms and such. You can get one from the shop for super cheap. I didn't have any money. I probably should have bought the map first instead of the fireball, but... Nobody ever said that I wasn't an airhead. I mean, look at her. Ooh. Hey. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. I am a sweet southern woman who never would burp in her life. It's a lie. I heard the zombies parked their wagon, wagon in the tangle forest. Just thinking about it gives me goosebumps all over my body, right here and here and here. God, that's actual. <laughs> There's a lot of these jump pads. Um, excuse me. Takes me over here and I can talk to this person. How do I get down from here? It's <laughs> a good question. How do I get down from here? Oh, uh, now I'm here. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. And now I'm back here. Well, now what? Go back to the lighthouse real quick. We must find all three magic seals before Ritzy Boots does. It will be difficult and very dangerous and uh, blah, 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 yes. <sighs> if it means saving our town from evil, you bet. I've already said these lines before. Okay. So I guess this is not the way to go, but let's see if I can, uh, I really, uh, this is good practice though for me, even though I, I still don't have the process to do that. So let's just use this to practice jumping little jumps. Okay. And there's got to be a jump that involves the bigger, longer. So jumping's going to be super important. But I do want to kind of get out of town before I... Uh... So, hmm, I gotta figure out how to get out of town. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing that a lot. I mean, that's just... I'll be honest, I was thinking that with this game, I was gonna be able to like maybe jump on all of these weird, um... Oh, I can! Okay. Help me. <laughs> oh, 
Who was in there? Oh, her. So how do I get out of town? I'm trapped. I'm trapped in this town. And I'm supposed to go, like, help. I mean, I know this is basically... This is the dock. Okay. How do I leave this dang town? I want to leave. I want to leave. He's going to say the same thing, isn't he? East from the town gate. So where's the town gate? That's my problem, is I'm trying to figure out where the town gate is. Oh. Well, that makes sense. Keep a sharp eye on your heart meter. Once you've run out of heart, it's game over for you. If you make an important discovery, be sure to hit a save room afterwards. I should have bought that dang map instead of a fireball. <laughs> oh, I knew I was doing something stupid. Did you visit the old men? Then I guess I can let you go then. So I did visit the old man I had saved. Left of town is the pumpkin field. Off to the right is the lilac field. Try not to get lost. So, it is lilac fields, but didn't I say, I think, I think I need to go to Pumpkin, because she was supposed to be, I'm already lost. Uh, it's fantastic. <sighs> let me go, let me go. What do you say? Monsters still roam the outskirts of town. Be careful out there. Yeah, so this is the pumpkin fields. Oh, those must be monsters. <laughs> oh, look at my heart meter, it's not good! I'm supposed to be able to do a fireball! Oh! Oh! Oh, that's what that button's for. So, I guess my question is, is how do I, I mean, obviously I'm, uh, I should have, oh my god, you guys keep a, ooh, well, this is the rotting field, jump, so that's my magic. Stranger, I am what they call a warp pedestal. Wait, no. So this is a pedestal, so. Mm. <clears throat> Greeting, stranger. I am what they call a warp pedestal. It's my job to zap folks from place to place. I'd like to help you out, but until my warp brothers wake up, I can't do squat. Noted. Whoa! Oh no! They're throwing pumpkin bombs. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I have saved. 
at the very beginning of being at the town. So, uh, I'm gonna figure out what the easiest way to kill, and I'm dead. Oh wow, that's a really dramatic um, game over thing. Well, it is 44 minutes into this, a little bit longer than I was originally going to play. So I am going to go ahead and end this particular episode here. I expect that a lot of my episodes are going to end with the game over, uh, but I'm willing to work on learning and trying it. Um, it's definitely difficult because I don't platform like my favorite games are usually point and click adventure games it's a different way of using any of this stuff so I have to like channel my inner childhood from when I was playing like Super Mario Brothers and stuff so but we're gonna end here and go get uh some Witcher 3 on so that I can get some videos up uh this has been fun though it's especially fun doing all the voices, something that I don't really get to do for Witcher because they're talking and they have their own voices. Um, there's a lot of boobs in this game. <laughs> and I knew it. I knew it. I, I knew it. I've looked it up. It's definitely very fan servicey, but it's just funny at the same time. But I've had a good time. So I will see you in the next episode. Bye.